Hello and welcome back to my adventures with the lathe. Since we uh, last spoke I went on some misadventures building my own little uh, bumpy tool thing trying to get uh, my stock to spin true in the center here. Um, been able to make some reasonable parts. I didn't end up using this little bump tool. Uh, what I discovered is you just put it in the chucks a little loosely and just push it up, push it down with dial indicator on there and roughly get it in line and I can get it um, within roughly about a thousandth to run through, maybe a little bit worse than that if I'm being honest with myself, but close enough to make some pretty cool parts. Very funky, awesome designy thing here. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for with my end goal with this little project, um, but it's not tight enough for the tolerances that I'd like and there's a lot more uh, fine work that I need to do. Um, so I figured before going down there I'd try and invest in um, getting things to run a little bit more true. Um, so actually the work that I was doing before um, was not on this monster tr monster truck, I was going to say, monster chuck, monster truck of a chuck. I was using this little three-jaw chuck, the thing that came uh, with this mini lathe, and that was working okay, um, but I thought I'd get myself a four-jaw independent chuck. So you've got the four jaws here that are each independently controlled, um, and I could use that rather than bumping the piece, because sometimes when you bump it, it'll bump out um, to control each uh, jaw independently um, so they can dial it right in to, to being super true to minimize the run out. Um, the pieces that I'll be working on probably won't be this long. This is what, um, a couple of inches here. Most of them will be within this length, sort of one, one to two inches long. Um, but I still want to keep the run out super low um, so that the pieces will nest nicely and will slide nicely and will do all the magical things that I want them to do. Um, so, given that, today from Little Machine Shop arrived this wonderful Chinese made uh, four jaw independent tr uh, chuck. Um, I mounted it up on here and expected wonders and um, this is what I'm seeing. So we're seeing, if you look up here, about five thousandths um, run out on the chuck itself. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that. My first thought was that these, first thought was that these little nuts back here um, weren't tight. Unfortunately, I don't have a spanner, so um, rookie mistake, I grabbed the old vice grip and tried to tighten them up. And I've tightened them up and I have not um, threaded the outside of the nuts, thank God. Um, but still, um, it's running with that 5,000th of run out. Maybe a bit, a bit better than 5,000th. No, it's about that. Um, so what should I do, Mr. Internets and Mrs. Internets? Mrs. Internets for the unmarried female internets out there. I should be using non-gender specific terms. Anyway, um, I'm thinking maybe I need to shim this. Maybe the bolts that are attaching the adapter plate to the chuck itself aren't straight, but uh, they look pretty good. Um, rather than doing a lot of wild ass guessing, I'm going to turn to you on the internet because the people over on Reddit were super helpful with me. So I'm going to post this video and see if I can get some wonderful suggestions. And I look forward to what you have to say. And I look forward to posting more videos. Thanks a lot. Bye.